Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. Well, waking up to a beautiful morning. Good morning, everyone. 22 minutes before the hour. We've had a couple of thin clouds that have pushed through central Oregon, but overall, we've had quite the clear night, and we're off to a pleasant start here this morning. 30 degrees at the Bend Airport, a gentle southwesterly breeze at 8 miles per hour, a gentler breeze out of the east at the Redmond Airport, where it's 27 degrees. So we've seen that airport drop a little bit this morning. Well, that storm that brought the uh, da tornado damage to Texas has now moved eastward, and we have heavy rain that stretches all the way from Virginia clear down to the Gulf. It will work its way off of the eastern seaboard, but not before it drops a lot of rain and farther to the north. Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, all getting some heavy snow this morning, and that'll push into upstate New York and then New England beyond that. A lot of cold air dropping in behind this system out of Canada and it looks like it's going to be quite the chilly weekend for uh, our conclusion to the week and the weekend for the Midwest. Here in the Pacific Northwest we're right at the back fringe of this and quite frankly we're more under the influence of some high pressure right now than we are all of that cold air. Consequently Lake We'll get some sunshine today. You can see some of those clouds that are pushing through our area. Today will be uh, fairly warm. Uh, we'll see mid to upper uh, 40s for our daytime highs with a light and variable wind and even warmer tomorrow as that high pressure gains a little bit of strength. This is what it looks like on our future track. Uh, some of the clouds that we're seeing this morning will work their way through. We'll wind up clear tonight and probably a little bit cold as well. Uh, going into Thursday, however, we are anticipating plenty of sunshine and the warmest day of the week. Now, as we get to Friday, you're going to see a little bit of a shift in our airflow pattern. Consequently, we'll get some more clouds that will build in through the day Friday, bring a little bit of late day snow to uh, the Blue and Wallowa Mountains and Central Oregon will probably have to wait till Friday night, even into Saturday morning before we get to see too much of that. Well, Central Oregon temperatures are in the upper teens to upper 20s for most to get the morning underway and looking at a day where uh, we see fairly light and variable breezes. Uh, through the day, we'll see our highs topping out in the low to mid 40s. Now, if we hit that 47 at the Redmond Airport, that's a couple of degrees above average. And from there, we just uh, get warmer as we go through tomorrow. Uh, mid teens to mid 20s for most of Central Oregon tonight, so it'll be a little colder, but look forward to tomorrow and get out and enjoy this because those clouds thicken on Friday. We have a 30% chance of scattered snow showers Saturday and Sunday. Day. That'll move through in a hurry, and it leaves behind a body of cold air that has us downright cold starting the new work week.